Hi folks, it's Sebastian Bleak with another video for my Never Stop Learning blog. This is week 96 where I'm going to be focusing on Adobe Illustrator's opacity masks. If you look, I'm already in Adobe Illustrator CS6 with some text laid out. What I'm going to be doing is adding a distress pattern to this text so it'll still be vector text in Illustrator but it's going to have um, a pixel based image applied to it as uh, opacity mask and you'll see what I mean in a sec. So let me just get started by going to file place and I already have my distress pattern here. It's a PSD file. I'll go ahead and place it on top. It's covering all of my text. That's great. That way it'll keep it nice and consistent. What I want to do is call your attention over here to my layer panel. I'll twirl it down and I have three different items. I have my background, my text, and what I'm going to uh, what I'm going to be using as an opacity mask. That's already selected, but I also need to select uh, my text at the same time so I'm going to hold down shift and click on this meatball one time they're both selected and what I need to do is have my opacity mask on the highest level of the stacking order uh, before I come over here to my transparency panel and all I have to do is click make mask and it'll automatically mask it uh, using the the luminance values here uh, but before I click make mask I want to show you something um, you always hear this saying black conceals white reveals well, that, that applies to this as well because this is exa exactly like your masks are in Photoshop. So wherever this, uh, this black information is here, it's going to hide your artwork. And wherever there's white information right here, it's actually going to show your artwork. Uh, since this image is mostly black, you're going to see a lot of my text disappear. But you're going to see it peeking through wherever this white stuff is. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click Make Mask. There it is and you see most of it went away because that's where all the black was so if I want to uh, reverse the way this thing works all I have to do is click invert mask and now what it's doing is everything that was black before is going to show my artwork and whatever was white before is going to hide my artwork and that's why you see these little cracks in here okay so if I want to make some adjustments to my opacity mask I can't do it from right here in the layers panel the way it is what I have to do is come back into my transparency panel click on this uh, thumbnail here and then you'll see my layers panel changed up it says opacity mask now my opacity mask is selected and since I placed it it's basically just linked to this file so I just click on here once and I'm able to edit my original it pulls it up in Photoshop and because it's a PSD I have access to layers adjustments and all that so what I want to do here is uh, change my levels because I want to make my text look more distressed so I'm going to slide this guy over so there's to introduce more white. And I'm even going to slide my midtones over to bring a lot of white in here. I really want you to see the difference. So I'll go ahead and close this window. Say yes to save the changes. I'm actually saving that to the file. And then I'm going to come over here to Illustrator. And it's going to ask me here, would you like to update them now? It's saying that there was a change to my items here. So uh, yes, I do want to update them now. I click that. And there's my updated change. If I were to show this to my client and the client says, you know what, I don't like it now, it's too distressed, not a problem. I just come back over here, edit original, and because I did this as an adjustment layer, I just have to double click here, and I could back off on these guys a little bit, however I want. Once that's how I want it set, I hit yes, swing on over to Illustrator. It's going to ask me again if I want to update this, uh, this file, yes I do. There's the updated change. Now it's ready to go. But I can't really make any changes to this just yet because I'm still in opacity mask mode. So I'll come back to my uh, transparency panel. Click on this thumbnail once. Now I'm able to edit my artwork again. Uh, which is cool because I could actually change my text here if I want. So let's see. I'll just go ahead. SebastianBleak.com Select all of my text. I'll uh, change all of this to 200 points. Uh, control enter to accept that hit control alt and the up arrow a couple times to bring these guys together align this guy to the center of my document control shift a to deselect and I'm all set so there it is that's how I used uh, the opacity mask for my never stop learning blog post week 96 if you want to check out more of these just go to sebastianbleak.com click on the artwork uh, link and it'll take you directly to my never stop learning blog uh, just search in there or just look around. Hope you find something that you like. Check back every week for new stuff. Thanks.